Hey there guys and welcome back to uh, TW 2016 um, We are continuing to book the Cruiser Weight Classic Tournament Now we are in our final uh, two shows now So one show will be obviously in this video The next one will be in the next video Probably released tomorrow uh, Whenever this is released of course So uh, the uh, card is as follows Akira I can never remember how to pronounce that. So, Akela versus Jack Gallagher, Alex Shelley versus PJ Black, uh, Brian Kendrick versus Adam Cole, Kota Bushi versus Cedric Alexander, Noam Dar versus Devi, DJ Perkins versus Johnny Gargano, uh, Tomasa Champa versus M Mascarara uh, Dorado, uh, Zach Saber Jr. W uh, will finally uh, be up against Drew Gullick now of course that will not be in order and uh, the way that the uh, card will be laid out is that uh, Black at 1 will be uh, the uh, quarter finalists uh, will be decided by the winner of Black at 1's match and uh, sorry the uh, two matches in Black at 1 were pretty much the episode 1 so that will be Akira versus uh, Jack Gallagher and the winner of that match will go up against Alex Shelley or uh, PJ Black one of the two of course so that's sort of the way that we're lining it up and the brackets for are uh, as followed episode 1, episode 2, episode 3 and episode 4 now with episode uh, 3 and 4 I think I'm going to switch them around and have episode 3 uh, be able to main event uh, tonight uh, of course that won't affect how the brackets are laid out as you know the uh, winners of the quarter final in each uh, in the winners of the round two matches sorry will go on to the quarter finals of each respective bracket until we get down to the semi final and then once again uh, the winner of the, the of episode three bracket will go up against the winner of episode four bracket. So you know there's nothing really being changed about it's just uh, the two brackets are being switched up and down rather than uh, cross to the uh, left side of the brackets. So I'm not sure if any of that made sense, but <laughs> I apologise. But we're going to go ahead, book the show, and uh, try and get this year finished and get on to doing the quarterfinals, semi-finals, and final in the next show. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. The show has been booked and now it's time to uh, to run it. So we uh, start off with uh, Black at 1 with Akira up against Jack Gallagher in a 42 minute match. Uh, not the best of matches but wasn't really expecting much else after seeing Jack Gallagher's performance uh, beforehand. Um, Akira gets an in ring performance of 54. Uh, that's compelled to a 21 of Jack Gallagher's. Uh, with Akira going over in the uh, just before the 12th minute actually by pinfall uh, but then we move on to the second match in uh, black at one which is Alex Shelley versus PJ Black in a 65 rated match not too bad if I say so myself 70 uh, rated in ring performance for Alex Shelley with a 58 by PJ Black and uh, Alex Shelley does go over and defeats PJ Black in a match that lasts 19 minutes. He defeats him by pinfall after hitting the shell shock. So I'm just going to go ahead and book that match in for the quarter finals. So in the quarter finals, we will see Akira go up against Alex Shelley. Uh, going into uh, Black at 2, we actually separate it up by hyping up the main event, which will be Adam Cole versus Brian Kendrick in black at 3 uh, that's 46 with it, not particularly great but hey uh, we go into a 40 with it match now as Noam Dar goes over on uh, Defy in the uh, 11th minute by pinfall uh, the announcing quality left at the match which is a good uh, 46 in ring performance by Noam Dar not the best of in ring performances but not the worst and it is a lot better than Devise in ring performance of 27. But then we go into the second uh, match of bracket 2 when uh, Zack Sabre Jr. goes up against Drew Gullick and uh, a decent wrestling little heat 
but Zach Sabre Jr, as you might expect, goes over in the 15th minute by pinfall after he has an in-ring performance of 73, which is pretty damn good. And uh, Drew Goddard's in-ring performance wasn't too bad either with a 57, so I can't really fault him there. Uh, but we do go on to a interview with Renee Young and Adam Cole. Renee Young says, you're going up against Brian Kendrick tonight. Uh, you, you'll be taking on Brian Kendrick tonight in the main event. Uh, what do you have to say about that? And Adam Cole says, Brian Kendrick may have been a great wrestler in the past for the WWE, but he's an old timer and it's time for the new young blood to take over. And uh, before we go on, we're actually just going to book in that last match uh, where Noam Dar will be taking on Zack Sabre Jr. in the quarterfinals. But now it's time to move on to Black at 4. Of course, we moved around Black at 4 and 3. Uh, but it won't make too much of a difference. But we do see Tomasa Champa go up against Mascara, M- Mascara uh, Dorado in a 54 minute match. Not a terrible match, but not as good as what I thought it could have been. Uh, the match does last 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes. But uh, Tomasa Champa ends the match uh, by making uh, Dorado submit. Uh, but uh, Champa does get an in-ring performance of 54. That is compared to a slightly better in-ring performance by Dorado of 56, I think that is. I can't really read it that well. But we go on to the last match of Black at 4 when TJ Perkins takes on Johnny Gargano. Uh, Johnny Gargano defeated TJ Perkins in a match that lasts over 16 minutes. Uh, He defeats him by Pinfall uh, after having a uh, in-ring performance of 65. Yeah, 65. That's compared to TJ Perkins, uh, 57, which probably could have been better. But uh, TJ Perkins was tiring near the end of the match. But uh, we move. Well, no, we won't move on just yet. We will book in that match between Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, two tag team uh, to a tag team uh, going up against each other in the quarterfinals. And uh, we move on now to uh, Black at 3, but before we do, we see a uh, interview with Renee Young and Noam Da. And uh, Renee Young says, you got uh, you, you, in the quarterfinals on Sunday, you will be going up against one of the best technical wrestlers in the world in Noam Da, uh, in Sack Sabre Jr. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Noam Dar simply says he may be one of the best technical wrestlers in the world, but I'm going to prove that anybody can beat the one of the best whenever I go. Ah, that was terrible. I'm, no, that that's what's horrible. I, just, I had this really, really good and sort of like shoot a uh, promo type thing in my head, and ah, I just sunk. <laughs> I had to send this open in my mouth. Anyway, let's just move on. Forget about that. Uh, in Black at 3, we have Kota Bushi as he goes up against Cedric Alexander. Uh, Kota Bushi has an in-ring performance of 62, uh, compared to a 38 in-ring performance by Cedric Alexander. But Kota Bushi does go over in the just before the 15th minute in the 14th minute by pinfall after hitting his Golden Star Press in a 50-minute match. Uh, now in our main event, which was horrible by the way, uh, we uh, place this as being a technical uh, masterclass because we need, you know, te- a technical masterclass in each uh, in each event. Thinking that you know, Ban Kendrick has the experience to be able to pull this off. Unfortunately, they couldn't, and the crowd wasn't really engaged that well. But Adam Cole does go over in a match that lasts 21 minutes uh, after hitting a super kick to get the pinfall. So. That means that we will see Adam Cole go up against Kota Abushi in the quarterfinals. I'm going to go ahead and book that now. The event itself was a 55 rated, which isn't great, but once again, we're not going to complain about that. We're just wanting to book the shows how I would like to see them booked. Um, but let's move on to uh, see who will uh, finally who will be in the final card for the quarterfinals on a Sunday in game. I could just say quickly here, it's going to be Akira versus Alex Shelley, Saxe Sabre Jr. versus Noam Dar, Adam Cole versus Kota Bushi, and Johnny Gargano versus Tomasa Champa. But thank you very much for watching. I'm out of time now. I'll see you again. Thanks.